What the frick is up? Welcome back to the vlog! <laughs> you guys, it feels so deliciously tasty for those words to be coming out of my mouth again. I just want to like bask in this glory again of like holding a vlog stick in front of my face right now. That sounded kind of kinky. <laughs> Anyways, I know you guys are probably like, Sully, where the hell have you been, loca? And I know I owe you guys a um, major explanation, and I'm going to give that to you guys. So I thought I would just do a little bit of a vloggity, vloggity vlog just to like get back into things. But I miss you guys so freaking hard. My family's here right now, so I figured I would just like start the vlog now. I said, Sully, do it. Get back out there, girl. I've missed them. I hope you guys have missed me. I don't know. <laughs> but so many freaking updates to give you guys. I am moving my siblings aren't gonna be living with me anymore um, I've just been up to a whole lot of hood shit so <laughs> let's just get straight into this vlog um, I have a little photo shoot with my sister today so I thought I'd bring you guys along with me and let's just freaking chat y'all <laughs> I'm like, oh my god. It's like I'm seeing like my boyfriend for the first time in like a really really long time You know what I mean? Uh, I'm like giddy and I have butterflies and like I'm sweating I'm like trying like I'm like maybe if I sweat enough like it'll hide the tears um, <laughs> But anyways, I love you guys. I'm gonna shut up now and oh, yeah I went from brunette to blonde from short to long many many updates y'all, but I love y'all and let's just get straight into the video <laughs> We have another outfit change. Mm -mm. That's why I'm like in a blazer now. Oh my god. It's like an oversized blazer because we're going. Where are we going? An adventure. Thrift store shopping. We thrift, thrift shopping. Thrift shopping. We thrift, thrift shopping. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to these bins that Noni took me to once. They're like, it's like this Goodwill that has a bunch of different bins. So we have our handy dandy gloves with us, our masks with us, because I've actually found a lot of really good stuff. I'll give you guys like a little haul back when I get home. Um, but I'm so excited. Thrift Queens, baby. Right? Right, Noni? Right, right Noni? Right? right. 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 Like this? We're going thrifting. Welcome to my MTV Cribs. <laughs> oh, all right. Let's do a little taste. Let's do a little cheers. A little taste. Cheers, besties. <laughs> all right. Let's see. Moment of truth. <gasps> I, I literally cannot go out in public without feeling, without having main character syndrome. <laughs> Is there any other way to live? No, not at all. I will go out every time That's and say, saying. attention on me, please. <laughs> I mean, like, switching my nipple ring. <laughs> it was bugging me. It's so beautiful. My head is so itchy from my um, extensions. <laughs> I have an appointment tomorrow, thank God. All right, y'all. We out here at Republic. If you haven't been, it's in LA. It's absolutely delicious. It's one of my favorite spots. Look at these delicious pastries we're having. We're gonna have some coffee, some brekkie. It's delicious. I'm with my sister. Say hi, Noan. Hi. <laughs> with my mom. Say hi, mom. Hi. They don't want to be in it because they don't have makeup on, but. Uh... Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I'll show you guys the food when it gets here. Saying Karen is bussin'. Noni, what did you do to your latte? Mine's cuter. <laughs> Yum, some avocado toast, frittata, and some chia pudding. Is it bussin', Karen? Mm -hmm. Is bussin', Karen? Meet me at a spa called a Viva. <laughs> I'm cracking a cold one. Um, this is not sponsored, by the way, but if truly wants to sponsor me, that'd be so fucking sexy. I see mama. You wanna hang out with the vlog? 
Oh my god, you guys, I'm literally sitting at our spot! This is where I feel like I would always film a bunch of videos. Um, like my spill the wine and stuff. Sorry, my fucking... My hair extensions are itchy. <laughs> I'm getting them done um, in like two days, but they need... I need a lot of just like grooming done, basically. Um, but, anyways... I hope you guys, if you guys have wine, if you guys have juice, water, milk, whatever you guys want to drink. Crack a cold one with me. Um, I do want to do a little haul so I can show you guys what I got at the thrift store. I actually got this blazer there. Oversized blazers are like so sexy right now. So I just got this and I just threw it on because I thought it was kind of a vibe. But I have a bunch of really cute stuff I want to show you guys. But first, I promised some sort of explanation as to why I've been gone. And long story short, take a sip. Mmm, wait, this is good. I've never had this. The Truly Lemonade, um, water, Watermelon Lemonade, 10 out of 10 recommend. But, so I owe you guys an explanation as to why I've been taking a break from YouTube. Things felt a little bit off on my Instagram. A lot of people actually, thank you guys, you guys are amazing. Like, I know if I ever went missing, y'all would ride or die for me and know, like, this isn't Sully. We know Sully. <laughs> or if someone was, like, holding me hostage uh, to post on Instagram, y'all would be like, this isn't our girl. Because the way that y'all just knew. Um, drum roll, please. Here is what I'm talking about. I was gone. <laughs> I was gone for a month, and a lot of people, if you didn't notice, it's okay, I forgive you, I love you. Um, that was the whole point, was for no one to notice. My sister was actually running my Instagram for me for like the past month. Um, and a lot of people that were asking, why have you and Justine not been hanging out? Are you guys fighting? We were not fighting, we were actually talking every single day while I was gone. But yeah, I was in the UK. Um, on a little retreat for myself, I guess you could say, and just working on myself. <laughs> I'm so sorry for keeping that secret from you guys. Um, Noni was running my account, posting for me, posting on my story. I had left a bunch of um, content for her to work with, and yeah. <laughs> It kind of started off as one thing, was not supposed to be this whole secret thrift, but it turned into like a little retreat for myself. Um, I was just writing, I was journaling, I was taking a holistic approach to just unclogging myself is the word that I keep using because before I left, I felt really, really clogged. And you guys know I'm always on here preaching, take care of your mental, take care of yourself because you can overwork yourself. And before leaving, I just think I felt... I don't know, I felt so, and this is me just being a thousand and ten percent real with you guys. I love LA, and I love the people that I've met in LA, but a lot of times, obviously it's a common thing that you guys have heard probably across a lot of different content creators that it can get to a point where you're just like, who are my real friends? What am I doing? Like, I really started to feel a little lost, I guess, just feel a little bit like, who am I pouring my time and energy into? Is it worth it? You know, and I think I just needed to re hit the reset button, realign myself with my goals and my purpose. Um, and yeah, it's honestly not as deep as it sounds. I really just got away, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, me and Jay are good. I'm, go I'm good. I was always good. I just needed some time outside of LA, if that makes any sense. Um, and which gets me to what I've been doing and what I've been working on. Um, I had my sister post about this. Yes, it was my sister. Mm, gotcha. Um, but I had her post about this because this is what I was reading while I was in the UK. I was actually in Manchester. Um, a few people recognized me out there. If you did, shout out to you and thanks for keeping my secret <laughs> and not telling anyone where I was. But this is The Artist's Way by Julia Cameron. It is amazing, you guys. Shout out to Tanya, my manager, for gifting this to me. Um, I am halfway through it and I think I'll probably reread it once I'm done. But it basically just has you journal. I went through like three journals while I was gone. These are my two new ones. But it basically just has you journal. Um, do brain drains every single morning. So I've been starting off my mornings with a brain drain. It's like a three page just ugh, here's all the things that are on my mind. And then it has you do a few other exercise exercises like take yourself on a date and just really just helps creatives just work on any blocks that they might be having creatively. If you're a creative or if you're not a creative, I still recommend this because it's been working wonders for me. I freaking love it. Not sponsored, by the way. This is just an amazing, amazing, amazing book. 
Um, and yeah, that's what I was working on. Okay, and then while we're on the topic of holistic approaches to um, self-care, <laughs> a word from our sponsor. I 10 out of 10 recommend. So y'all know I am super sex positive. I think it's super important to explore yourself, explore your body, figure out what you like and what you don't like for yourself and for your partner if you have one. I don't have one. <laughs> because I have my beautiful, little, amazing Lalo Silla. Okay, so y'all know I'm always on here preaching self-care, self-pleasure, and really, really taking care of yourselves. So y'all already know I have to put you guys on to my two favorites from Lalo. So this is the Lalo Silla, and this is the Enigma. So these two are a little different. This is the Lalo Silla, my personal favorite. Look how cute and small and pink she is. <laughs> she is USB rechargeable, and this one is recommended for beginners. So if you've never taken a gander on self-pleasure, this is what is kind of like recommended. Unless you want to just go straight for it. Do you, girl? Ain't nobody judging you. This is a judge-free zone. <laughs> but Lalo Silla just really promotes slow sex and getting to know your body. I think it's super important to just explore your body, get to know what you really, really like. This is my personal favorite favorite. Um, she is not super loud, so if you have roommates or you live at home, you don't have to worry about that. I can have it on the highest setting and nobody, nobody is going to know, <laughs> except for me, of course. But I personally love this. And whether you're single or you have a partner, if you guys have a partner, this would be, this one would be a really, really fun thing to just like, you know, add to your little sex routine. <laughs> and then here we have the Enigma. So this one is a dual action sonic massager. She is known for blended orgasms and just really being that bitch, if I'm being honest. <laughs> also USB rechargeable and made with body safe silicone, so you don't even have to worry about any of that. Yeah, I just think it's really important. Like, I mean, if you've had this, been there, done that, try a little something else out, you know what I mean? Level up a little bit, but I think they're both super amazing. They're super good for if you're ever stressed or you just need a little bit of extra loving at the end of the night. I personally love this one and y'all know I travel a lot so this one's really easy to just like slip in my <laughs> bag she's not gonna take any extra room in my luggage so this one has really become my super super best friend and this baby is always there when I need her and I need some really some major de-stressing if you know what I mean <laughs> but yeah I just feel like this is a conversation that should be had you guys are my besties I talk about this stuff to my besties in real life so why can't I have that conversation with my YouTube besties you know what I mean and open that conversation up because I know it's something that I didn't get comfortable speaking about until later on in my life and I just wish that someone would have put me on way before so let me be your bestie that puts you on <laughs> it does not have to be something that is shameful or embarrassing I'm very very proud of my sexuality and I have no problem letting people know what I do behind closed doors baby <laughs> so like I said not me just flinging this around to you guys I'm so sorry <laughs> Oh my god. Um, but anyways, like I said, everything will be linked down in the description box. I take a gander on their Instagram, on their website, read up on them, and self-care with me, baby. <laughs> Alright, and then now I promised y'all a little haul of what I got at the thrift store. I've been thrifting a lot recently just because I've been super into just like more of like a vintage -y look. I know oversized blazers are super in right now and I feel like the thrift store is a perfect place to get them and not spending an arm and a leg. So I actually got this. Super freaking cute. The place that I've been going to is like this place which is, it's a Goodwill that just has bins, right, across the board. I think um, it was in the clips that I had prior, but it's just bins and then they weigh everything. So you pay, I think it's like a dollar and 20 cents per pound. Um, so here's another one of my favorite pieces that I got. It's just like this fur, beautiful coat. I'll try it on so you guys can get the feel. But here it is, so freaking beautiful. This alone would have been an arm and a leg. So I'm just super happy that I found this. So freaking cute. It is going to do wonders for my outfits in the winter time. All right, next. <laughs> so another coat. I just hit the jackpot on coats. Like, I'm gonna be killing it this winter. I know a lot of you guys are probably like, girl, you're gonna wear that in an LA winter? Absolutely I am. <laughs> and then here is another little coat situation. She's like really long, brown. I'm thinking like a brown monochromatic look would be super cute with this one. I love, I've just been finding such cute things at the thrift store lately, so. I know a lot of you guys are probably gonna be like, girl, back up and show us the real thing. I'm sorry, y'all. 
this is all the effort you guys are getting from me right now because I'm quite frankly sweating in my apartment right now with this beanie on, but I refuse to take it off because beauty is pain. Anyways, she's cute. Another super cutie. So my sister actually found this one for me. She was like, this is this is so your style. She is a cropped little like snakeskin jacket. And look, it's like the bottom of jeans back here. I'm wondering if someone like actually made this. But another person's trash is my freaking treasure. It's so cute, y'all. Like, hello, did I not hit the jackpot? Like, I'm feeling like that bitch. <laughs> All right, and then here is another one. I was actually looking for exactly something like this, and then I found it. She's like a little oversized situation. I'm thinking about maybe cropping her, maybe keeping her long for a while, doing a few outfits with her, and then cropping her. But so cute, you guys. Like... 10 out of 10 recommend thrift store shopping because it's also economically friendly, so. Here's another oversized um, blazer situation. This one's really, really oversized, but I feel like I can work with it when I style it. Like, I feel like if I were to wear it almost like a blazer dress and put like a belt right here to cinch it, it works better if they're oversized, but the color on this one is freaking gorgeous. Like, y'all are about to see me pop off on my Instagram. And nothing feels better than when someone's like, where'd you get this outfit? Where'd you get this jacket? And I'm like, the Goodwill. Like, ah, that's so sexy. Like, I'm literally thrifting and like helping our planet and like recycling clothing. And also there's something about thrifted clothes that I'm just like, it has so much character. All of the tags on the stuff that I've been getting, like, are clearly something that's older or something a little bit more expensive. And I'm like, what bougie ass person owned this before me it just like clothing with character it just fills my freaking heart like just even just this coat it literally says like made in france and let me show y'all another beautiful piece that i got <laughs> these like old trousers i actually got another pair too in like tan honestly all of this stuff was in the same bin i'm thinking it was like some rich ass lady that was like i don't need these anymore and donated them to the goodwill but these are versace Look at that. Someone's about to comment and be like, girl, those are fake. I don't care. I think it really belonged to some bougie ass like woman and she was just like, I don't need it. I wore them one time to pick up my mail and now I have new stuff. But Versace, you guys, like the come up is just insane. Anyways, when y'all see these on my Instagram, <laughs> I'm gonna be acting different. Anyways, so then this beautiful blazer, those beautiful Versace pants. And then everything else I'm just not gonna try on so you guys can just see it. But I also got this cute little vest to wear with I don't know what oh and then I found these cute little these other cute little vests this little black one I think it'll be really cute for fall and then this one which I also thought was super cute that I could style really cute love her and the color is just stunning this cutie little button up I love the color scheme on this it's just ugh, everything to me and then finally for my new apartment because I'm moving. Oh my God, I forgot to tell you guys. I'm literally like, see the way these things escape my brain. So I'm moving. My time in this apartment is coming to an end. My sister's moving back um, to Hawaii and at the end of the month. My brother's moving back to Sacramento um, probably at the end of the year, so he'll be with me a little bit longer. And I am loft shopping. So I'll probably bring you guys along with me. I wanna go see a few of them tomorrow morning. But I'm loft shopping because I'm moving and I want a whole new aesthetic in my apartment. I think my room I'll probably keep the same-ish, but I don't know, my living room I want it to have like pops of color, so I've been Pinteresting a lot of stuff. If you guys have any ideas, send it to me. I, I'm loving like maybe like a 70s, 80s kind of like eclectic vibe. So I thought this was super freaking cute. Like I was obsessed with this and it feels like it's like brand new. It has like no stains on it, nothing. I just need to give it a nice little wash. And it's definitely like the vibe that I want. Like I just want pinks and greens and fun like decor. 10 out of 10. And then let's see. Actually I lied. Last, this is last but not least. Um, I found these really cute like placemats. And it came with like a full set. It's like eight of them. So cute. This is what I mean by like, I just want eclectic stuff. Like, I want everything to just like scream Sully's brain. <laughs> and I'm planning on getting like maybe some Star Wars like framed posters everywhere of like the, the original Star Wars, like the ones that look a little bit vintage. I just wanted to scream my brain when you walk into my new loft. So, found these, which is a huge come up as well. And then I got this from my mom. This is all my mom um, wanted when we were there. My mom was like, this is the shirt that I want. I was like, you're so cute, mom. <laughs> but this, my mom found this shirt and it's from Zara and it literally has a tag on it. So, come up for my mama. Hey, 
you besties. We're walking, we just had breakfast and now we're walking around um, Melrose. I love me a good Melrose walk. Love it. <laughs> okay, I know this looks like mush, but I swear it's the best thing I've ever put in my mouth. <laughs> How is it, Bussin? Bussin. <laughs> Hi, okay, so I just got my hair done. I wanted to show you guys. Let me stand closer to the light. So we went just a smidge blonder, moved my hair extensions up because they were literally falling off my head since I've been gone for so long. Um, and then gave me a little like nice trim, all of that good stuff. And I'm back, baby, I feel good. Um, but yeah, so I have my hair extensions in. I've actually got a lot of questions about that. So I figured I would just like link that down in the description box for you guys. I got them from Bella Me, or is it, Be yeah, Bella Me. Um, whoa, who's texting me? Mm -mm. Supposed to have a shoot today with Nico. If y'all don't know Nico, I'll link his Instagram here, his at handle because he's an amazing photographer. Um, and we have a nice little shoot today. I'll probably bring my camera so that you guys can see that. But I did want to chat about my hair really quickly because a lot of you guys had a lot of questions about it. So, like I said, my ADHD brain just be all over the place. But I'll link it down below. Um, and then our process. A lot of people ask me like what did I ask my hairstylist honestly I just asked for as blonde as we can get it um, it started off as a balayage it still is a balayage but we just keep kind of bringing it higher every time I go in um, and yeah and then from there we just like matched a bunch of different hair extensions together these are two different colors that we mixed together to um, create the same thing that we did on my hair we got really lucky because it just so happened to blend like perfectly um, but yeah I'm gonna get dressed now that my hair and makeup is done I need to get my nails done so badly um, and then I'm gonna go meet up with Nico we're gonna have a nice little shoe and then and then probably that will take us to the end of this vlog I'm gonna be vlogging my trip to um, Sacramento this weekend so I will be in town for a little bit this weekend I am going to be headed to Sacramento um, and then from there to San Francisco to help my sister apartment search so I figured that I would vlog that sexy little cute trip um, and yeah so I'm gonna go hang out with Nico, do a little shoot, and then that should bring us to the end of this cute little sexy, fun, funky, fresh vlog, so. Hey besties! Oh my god. Everyone say hi to Nico, and follow him on Instagram. I'll put his Instagram down here. But we just got done shooting the motherfucking Healy's <laughs> baby. <laughs> what? <laughs> the way I just flipped the camera, yeah. I was like, the motherfucking Healy's baby. How come Healy's don't sponsor me? <laughs> no, literally. It's because I'm 25 years old and I cuss a lot, and I <laughs> throw my middle finger up. <laughs> they said, that is not, child censored we got but good stuff we got, we got good, good stuff. stuff it was a good little shoe yeah. should we give him a little oh a little eek taste eek? <laughs> there he is <laughs> i said stop focusing nico help focusing. okay anyways that's all you guys get but <laughs> successful shoe go maybe go check my instagram i probably posted it by now you guys can see the actual video <laughs>